Christianity basically says that you don't know anything, that your way is wrong, your way is ignorant, your way is foolish, and that his way is above everything else. So to, to walk with Jesus, you must be willing to totally put your way to the side, totally put your thinking, your education, whatever you think you know to the side and pick up the thoughts of Jesus. This is what makes many people never be able to fully walk in the spirit. It was difficult for me. You got to put education to the side. You have to, you have to put aside what you were taught as a child, put aside what you may have been taught in church. And to hear the voice of the Lord, it's only when you do that that you'll be able to truly walk in the spirit. The most effective way that I believe to minister is to totally clear your mind and allow the Holy Spirit to fill your mind with thoughts. Okay, so Pastor Troy, how do you do this? <laughs> the first place is just that, to admit that the Holy Spirit is smarter than you are. Admit that God's way is better than your way. Admit that Him leading you is better than you trying to lead yourself. Whether we're talking about ministry, whether we're talking about you running a business, whether we're talking about you being a good husband or a good wife. Admit today that Jesus' way is better than your way. And the best way to practice this is to go out into the streets. Go out there and fully depend on the Holy Spirit. For when I minister, I am fully relying upon the Holy Spirit to give me words of knowledge, words of wisdom and insight when I'm gonna to minister to somebody. I'm not basing on what I think I know about them. I'm not prejudging them based on their appearance or what I think I know. I have to be totally submitted to Him. And for you today, you can do the same thing. You can go out there. So earlier today, we were in North Hollywood ministering. We had a group of people out there today. And so check out some of the video footage of, of, of where we're at. Your feet, you got pain in your feet, don't you, man? <laughs> what do you say? Get a massage for that? He's gonna get a massage for that, man. But yeah, I think he nailed. I think he nailed <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. What we try to do, Pastor Troy and myself, when we're out here doing this, I probably I know you run in this and does, and we try to get a, a, a word of knowledge. Yeah. Have God uh, tell us what's wrong with people. Yeah. Sometimes you'll feel like, man, something's wrong with their back or their knees. And then you'll tell them, hey, you got something wrong with your back, huh? And they'll be like, what you know? And when yeah. you do that, man, it really opens up the heart. Hey, how you guys doing today, man? Hey, we're with a church and we pray for people to have any type of physical pain in their body and they get healed instantly. Do you have anything, any pain, anything giving you a hard time today? I don't have no pain, but I got poverty, man. Can y'all pray for me? Yeah, yeah. Luck, yeah. Before yeah. we do that, how about you, man? Any, any physical pain, anything giving you a hard time? God's going to do a miracle right now. So you don't have any physical any physical pain at all in your body, in your back, your knees, your feet, shoulders, anything like that? I got, I, I, I suffered a uh, lumbar strain. Like it hurts your back, like when you when you bend and stuff. Does it hurt? Sometimes, yeah. If okay. You, if you look for pain right now, will you find the pain? Does it come like and go? Or... To... Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it just comes rarely at a at a any at any time. It'll just get you. Yeah, just sometimes when I get worse. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, we're gonna pray a blessing over your life. Uh, this is my pastor Troy, and these are my brothers and my brothers. And, and Jesus said that our tongues has the power of life and death and blessings and curses. So we're just going to pray a blessing over you, and God's going to open up doors for you. Yeah, today's your lucky day. What's your name? Eric. Eric, today's your lucky day, man. Because I feel like God has, God has blessed you with talents and abilities. And I feel like in the spirit, you're not, you're not fully using what he's already gifted you with. And the minute that you begin to use what he has, what he has blessed you with, your, your financial state is going to skyrocket out of here before the month of April will come. You start using what he's given you because you were born with it. You're creative. He's given you the ability, and you, even writing. I'm saying writing is is is, is with you. Yeah, exactly. So, it's yeah. all the artists. Yeah. So as you begin to use this, you're gonna feel you're gonna be skyrocketed out of the situation you're in now. So we're gonna pray for you. We're gonna we're gonna unleash this blessing upon your life, and everything's gonna be changed. Messing so with my blessing, man. Hold up, man. So let's all let's, let's all lay, hand, let's all lay hands. Let's all lay hands on you. You said it was uh, what was the name again? Eric. 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 Okay. In the name of Jesus. 
We just declare that that right now that Eric, life over his whole being, Lord, that, that you just unleash heaven upon him, that the peace of God would just flow upon him as never before. You would open his mind, wisdom, and, and, and we, we rebuke the spirit of death upon him. We rebuke anything that is not of you. Say, Jesus. I give you my life right now. I give you my life right now. Just take my life. Just take my life. And do something with it. And do something. I submit to you right now. I submit to you right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now watch.